everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you saw my previous post, I had this nice wood egg shaped wood uh, tray that I got from Timu um, at a really reasonable price. Um, and we did a dirty pour with resin. And today we're gonna do something similar, but we're gonna play with silicon, silicon oil. Now, if you know anything about acrylic fluid art, silicone is used in the paints to create these large cells um, as the paint is poured out onto the canvas. And we're going to do the same effect here um, with the resin. Uh, I am not going to, this tray holds about eight ounces of resin so I actually only mixed up six ounces because once I put the silicone on um, it will not fully integrate with the resin so once that resin is dry I'll have to clean it down really well and then I will put a clear top coat on it just to seal any of the divots that the silicone oil may make um, and to seal the work that we're doing. Um, so the colors I'm mixing up today, I've got Color Obsession, and this is Blue Mermaid. I have another Color Obsession that's Phalo Blue. And again, I'll link these all in the description. And Just Resin Titanium White. Um, these three are all paste resin, uh, resin pigments. And I'm just mixing these up and I'm gonna layer them in the cup just like we did um, in my previous pour to do a dirty pour. And then I left some of the clear left over because I'm gonna put that down first and then I'm gonna pour out my colors. I'm not going, I think what I'm gonna do, we'll see how the colors um, move across because uh, I don't think I wanna move them totally around um, we'll just kind of layer them out, see how it goes. And then use the silicone oil. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start with the white. And I think we'll do the phalo blue. And mermaid. I think I'll stop there and see how that pours out. So first we're going to put the clear down. Um, the resin we're using today again is just our uh, Let's Resin. Um, it is FDA approved, safe for food. Um, I would not set food directly on top, um, but if you put like a little doily or a little napkin underneath. That would work great. So we're just gonna spread this around almost to the edge. Um, I also have this on a leveling table, which works wonders because les uh, resin is self-leveling. And so if you do not have a table that is perfectly balanced, it will move to one end or the other. Um, again, I'll put a link. Um, I found that through Amazon, um, which I am an affiliate for. So I get a small 
stipend of that um, if you wish to click through on my description box. While I'm spreading this, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button if this is helpful tutorial. Okay, so I think that's good for right now. Again, I'll be putting a coat over this, so whatever I didn't get on the edge or what does whatever doesn't um, go to that, we will fix that after the pour. Okay, so it looks like I had enough where it's going. go to the edge, which is fine. Okay, I'll give it a little torch to get rid of any bubbles. Okay, and now I'm um, gonna use some silicone. This is silicone pour pouring oil. I'm just gonna pour a little bit. You don't need a lot, just into a little plate. And I'm just using um, a pointer tool. You can use a toothpick. And we're just gonna go in here and dot. Let me get a paper towel so we can wipe this off. And you can immediately see that the silicone reacts with the pigment. Looks like I'm already getting also some cells just from the pigments alone. So I'm not going to do a lot of heavy silicone here. I think I'm just going to taper it off to one end. Look how it's mixing those blues. Almost giving it like a abalone texture. And I am wiping off in between. I'm not sure where my camera is showing that or not at this moment, but. So um, once this is dry tomorrow, cause I'm not gonna film this part, um, what I will do is wipe it down um, first just with paper towel and then I'll take some an alcohol soaked paper towel to make sure I get all the remnants of the silicone up before I go ahead and I've got a lot of weight down here so I'm just going to move this around design okay super cool okay so um, I will come back um, 
or just take a picture of this when it's when it's fully cured and I have my top coat on it. Uh, but a real quick and easy tutorial um, just to show you how silicone ink or silicone, I'm sorry, oil can be used in your projects. to create a different look. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.